What's up guys, it's The Fighting Therapist here. And for today's episode, we're gonna talk about how much volume should you be doing per week, per set, per mesocycle. We're gonna get into that right now in this video. But before we start, please give this video a thumbs up, click that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and really don't forget that notification bell, guys, because when these videos do come out, I want you guys to know, especially there's gonna be a lot coming out, so don't forget that. And also, don't forget, if you wanna get all this content first before it comes out, don't forget to go down below in the description there's something called giveaways which is a link to my newsletter where all this info comes out a month before i actually make the video so if you want to get first come first serve don't forget to hit that up we're going to jump into the video right away first thing i want to say is all the information i'm going to be providing today for this video is based on three individuals that i like to research a lot and like to read all the articles that they post so we got brad schuenfield we got Mike Isratel and we got Eric Helms. They're pretty much the pioneers or researchers up, up to date and out there right now on the social media platform that is publishing articles and preaching about hypertrophy training, strength training, everything like that. And as well, we can't forget Andy Galpin. That's also a very good one that comes into the mix of all these three to four guys. So when it comes to volume, how much should you be doing, let's say per, per month, right? Or per mesocycle? Roughly, so a mesocycle lasts between one to four weeks. Usually, sometimes it could go up to eight weeks, 12 weeks sometimes. The goal here right now between the concise of all these three to four guys is anywhere between 10 to 20 sets. 20 sets being on the higher end of volume, 10 sets being a lower end of volume, where the 10 sets you're still be making gains. So these 10 sets are roughly considered your minimum effective volume, where your 20 sets are based off a maximum recoverable value. So how much can you push it to the max before we start dropping down? So when it comes to you guys making a workout plan, how much should you be doing per week? Well, that depends how much you want to start with and how much you're going to allocate yourself to be in the gym. So for example, for me, I'm following a five day split at the current moment and my sets are roughly in with anywhere between 10 to 12 sets per muscle group per week. And I divide that into a five day split. So that's what I'm doing right now. Let's say if you had more time or you're at more advanced and 10, 12 sets don't do it for you, you're still not getting sore and your numbers are still very high. Maybe you want to start going in between 14 to 15 sets per week and then go from there and progressively, progressively overload that. Now, when it comes to you guys putting this into a plan and how would you actually just construct a plan like this, I personally think that if you take the minimum effective volume, which is roughly let's say 10 sets per muscle group per week. Do that for about a week and see how you feel. I like to stay within my first week. I like to follow four week mesocycles. So personally, four to five weeks in general. And I usually stick with a four IRI, or which is reps in reserve. So my first week, I start with about 10 sets per muscle group per week. And I usually pick a weight where I feel like I have four more left in the tank. And then as the weeks go by, I increase the weight, I decrease the RIR. So I go four, three, two, one, zero. I deload and then I restart. That's pretty much how I follow it. You guys can definitely switch this around where you can keep it at a three IR or a two IR or a four IR, anywhere between that and maybe just increase the volume per week, right? So we could go 10 sets one week, maybe 11 or 12 the next week, 13, 14, and just keep going, keep going, deload and restart. You guys can do it where it comes to, maybe you're decreasing the time, right? So recovery time per exercise, you guys can be starting to add oh, supersets and everything. So anything that's gonna progressively overload you within the given workout plan that you follow, that's what you wanna to stick to. When it comes to a specific number of volume per week, volume per mesocycle, that's gonna depend on where you are and how much you wanna put and based off what I just said. So I personally think that if you're starting in the gym, you're better off starting at the lower end. So the minimum effective volume, again, that's gonna switch depending if you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced lifter, right? Like I said before, you might need a little bit more than 10 to 12 sets. Me, as an MMA fighter or boxer, I'm doing roughly two to three fighting workouts a day, right? And then add that in with five days a week of uh, weight training, resistance training, full body. So I feel pretty good and still feel sore and still feel good amount of pump in my workouts at 10 to 12 sets and then I like to go a 4 IR and continue like that so whatever you choose is going to be up to you split it how you want but that's pretty much the consensus with all those three guys when it comes to sets and volume per week per muscle group 
I hope this helps guys. I hope it gives you guys an idea of what you can start with, give you guys a little formula of what you can do for your workouts and that you guys can adapt. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Be safe in the gym, be smart, don't overdo it, all right? Like I said, I hope this helps. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. Peace.